are you today? Good. Well, welcome to the bookstore. How can I help you? Okay. Okay. Alright, great. So, we're looking for a couple of book recommendations. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in particular that you had in mind? Okay, so you're buying for some gifts. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what specifically um, you're gifting? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've got three different gifts. The first one is Harry Potter themed. Next one. Okay. So, kind of teen thriller, maybe a little bit older than teen, 18 to 25 kind of reading age. Okay. And we're looking for any kind of horror thrillers, crime. Okay. And the last one. For your partner. Okay. She likes. Okay, so kind of romancy life novel types. Okay, alright. So I will go and have a look around the store if you just want to make yourself comfortable. I'll go and have a look around and see what I can find for you and we'll go through. Alright. You just sit tight there, I won't be a moment. Okay, I'll just go and have a quick look, okay. Three different piles of recommendations. And I'm just going to go through each pile one by one. And maybe just read the blurb to you so that you can have a little bit of a feel about the book. Okay. Alright, so firstly, we have your Harry Potter. So I've got four different recommendations for you here. Let me show you the first and probably most obvious choice. And classic gift is the original Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone.
see here beautifully illustrated and then at the back we of course have to model And we open the book with the Hogwarts crest. As you can see. This book is a brilliant first time read for children who are getting into more novel based books opposed to curriculum given books. We have nice big easy to read writing. boy, until he is rescued by a beetle-eyed giant of a man, enrolls at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, learns to play Quidditch, and does battle in a deadly duel. The reason Harry Potter is a wizard. So that's my first recommendation. The next is a little more current than the previous. This one regards the fantastic beasts and where to find them. Screenplay. This is an official printed screenplay of the film. You can see beautifully royal navy blue. Golden embossed letters. Beasts and where to find them. So, this would be great for someone maybe a little older who's comfortable in reading screenplays. You can see if I show you in a minute that the writing style differs quite a lot from a traditional book. It is all written in speech and stage direction or screen direction. But it is accompanied these little drawings as well. This would be a fun read as a group to pair up with you and your friends and give each other characters to read. Okay. So that's the second recommendation. 
fermentation. Next to R4, those who are more interested in behind the scenes of the film. So this first is Harry Potter Film Wizardry from the creative team behind the celebrated movie series. Immerse yourself in the world of the spectacular Harry Potter film series and learn why your boil ice sculptures never melt, where galleons, sickles and nuts are really minted, how to get a hippogriff to work with actors, about the inspiration behind Hogwarts Castle and why Dementors move the way they do and designed in collaboration with the cast and crew that brought J.K. Rowling's celebrated novels to the silver screen. Harry Potter Film Wizardry delivers an enchanting interactive experience, transporting readers to the wizarding world by sharing filmmaking secrets, unpublished photography and artwork, and exclusive stories from the stars. Full of removable reproductions of props from the movies, this collectible volume offers a privileged look at the Harry Potter films and the talented group of muggles that has made true movie magic. So. Just show you a little insight into the book. making and some stickers and some make your own props as you can see from Weasley's Wizard Weasley Insert here. Containing the marvelous Marauders map. So 
some more products from Weezy's Wizard Weezy's I have here the making of Harry Potter, which is brought to you from the Warner Brothers Studio Store. Moving a little bit further on, we get to Dumbledore's office. the next books that I have for recommendations are the thriller novels. I did grab quite a few of these. These are in particular my favourite types of books to read. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different recommendations for you today. Just quickly peruse through. So the 
the first book I have is a number one bestseller by Linda Green called While My Eyes Were Closed. This again, a very easy read as you can see. Large wording. And I'll just read the blurb for you. In an instant, you can lose everything. One, two, three. Lisa Dale shuts her eyes and counts to 100 during a game of hide and seek. She opens them. Her four year old daughter Ella is gone, disappeared without a trace. The police, the media, and Lisa's family all think they know who snatched Ella. But what if the person who took her isn't a stranger? What if they are convinced they are doing the right thing? And what if Lisa's little girl is in danger of disappearing? A picture here. A little girl with a balloon flying away. So that's the first recommendation. Next one we have is Everything is Live. the author of Dear Amy, Helen Callahan. This is also a Sunday Times bestseller. Okay. Nice, clear writing. And the blurb says, No one is who you think they are. Sophia's parents lived quiet, ordinary lives. At least she thought so. Until she came home to discover her mother hanged and her father in a pool of blood. Sophia is certain her mother didn't try to kill her father, but clearing her name will draw Sophia deep into a past she never imagined. A past that hides a dark and twisted secret. Because if everything you've been told is lies, then how dangerous is the truth? Here is everything is lies. Next, we have the woman in the window. This is a bit thicker than the other two books, but written a diff a little bit different. There are quite a few chapters that are simply one paragraph. Okay. What did she see? It's been ten months since Anna Fox last left her home. Ten months during which she has haunted the rooms of her old New York house lost in her memories, too terrified to step outside. Anna's life to the real world is her window, where she sits, watching her neighbours. When the rustles move in, Anna is instantly drawn to them. A picture-perfect family, they are an echo of the life that was once hers. But one evening, a scream rips across the silence, and Anna witnesses something horrifying. Now she must uncover the truth about what really happened, but if she does, will anyone believe her? And can she even trust herself? So that's the woman in the window. Next. We have the missing girl, and this is quite thin compared to the other books in this genre. So, 
Anna Lawrence was just a child when her adored teenage sister disappeared. Unable to deal with the pain, Anna took the first opportunity she had to run away from her fractured family, eventually building a life for herself abroad. Now, 30 years on, her mother has died and Anna must return home to sort through her possessions. In doing so, she has to confront the huge hole her sister's disappearance left in their lives, leaving just one question unanswered. What really happened to Gabriella? Because not knowing is worse than the truth, isn't it? That's the missing girl. And next, we have the one. Still a comfortable reading style. Okay. This one is very, very interesting. One simple mouth swab is all it takes. A quick DNA test to find your perfect partner, the one you're genetically made for. A decade after scientists discover everyone has a gene they share with just one other person. Millions have taken the test, desperate to find true love. Millions have taken the test, desperate to find true love. Now, five more people meet their match, but even soulmates have secrets. Some are more shocking and deadlier than others. Okay, so that was the one. Next, we have Friend Request by Laura Marshall. Maria Weston wants to be friends with me. Maybe that had been the problem all along. Maria Weston had wanted to be friends with me, but I let her down. She's been hovering at the edge of my subconsciousness for all of my adult life. Although I've been good at keeping her out, just a blurred shadow in the corner of my eye, almost, but not quite out of sight. Maria Weston wants to be friends. But Maria Weston has been dead for, for more than 25 years. So, this book is what inspired the film Friend Request, if you have seen that. And I don't know about you, but I love the smell of new books. So as you can imagine, working in a bookstore. Very pleasant. Okay. We have two more recommendations in the thriller genre. Next, we have the global bestseller Paula Hawkins and The Girl on the Train. Now, this was made into a film starring Emily Blunt. Or may have not seen. So, every day the same until today. Rachel catches the same commuter train every morning. She knows it will wait at the same signal each time, overlooking a row of back gardens. She's even started to feel like she knows the people who live in one of the houses. Their life, as she sees it, is perfect. If only Rachel could be that happy. And then she sees something shocking. And in one moment, everything changes. Now Rachel has a chance to become a part of the lives she's only watched from afar. Now they'll see she's much more than just the girl on the train. And 
centre and it is close to home How can a child vanish without a trace? Last night, eight-year-old Ma Daisy Mason disappeared from a family party No one in the quiet suburban street saw anything or at least that's what they're saying. D.I. Adam Foley is trying to keep an open mind, but he knows that nine times out of ten, it's someone the victim knew. That means someone's lying, and that Daisy's time is running out. the one is priced at eight ninety nine. The girl on the train is priced at seven ninety nine. Okay. okay. So for the next genre, which you described kind of romancy novels, kind of um, coming of age perfect for kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. very feel good okay so I've got four different recommendations for you the first one is a personal favourite of mine this is by the author Louise Pentland this is Wild Like Me Louise has actually came out with another book Wild About the Girl and is now on pre-order the third book in the series, Wild Women. So if you are interested in those, I can also pre-order those for you. Alright. Yeah, we don't have the uh, Wild About the Girl in store today, but I can uh, order that for you if you are interested after reading this one. Okay. So, again, as always, I'll show you very good size, comfortably readable. Okay. So, I'll read you the blurb at the back. Meet Robin Wilde, awesome single mum, aspiring makeup artist, good friend. From the outside, things look just fine, but Robin has a secret. So that's all I'll give you this book, um, I think you should definitely give it a read. It's a very feel-good, down-to-earth story. Um, I think that that is something that Louise Bentland does very well. Um, it's very kind of Bridget Jonesy in terms of normal life kind of bewilders and um, you can find humour in it. So there we have Louise there. Okay. So the next book little bit more um, fantasy. This 
is a night to circus. It's a cute little beautiful fantasy story by Arian Morganston. And it says, The circus arrives without warning. No announcements preceded. It is simply there. And yesterday it was not. Next, we have British Book of the Year. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by, by Gail Honeyman. And this has been hailed as a very, very feel good book. Eleanor Oliphant leads a simple life. She wears the same clothes to work every day, eats the same meal for lunch every day, and buys the same two bottles of vodka to drink every weekend. Eleanor Oliphant is happy. Nothing is missing from her carefully timetabled existence, except sometimes everything. Okay. And then the final record for this genre is Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. Giovanna Fletcher, you may know, is Tom Fletcher's wife who was from the British band McFly. This book has a lovely softness to it. The other books are quite hard, quite stiffer to bend. This one is lovely, lovely and soft, you can see. Okay. So, Sophie May has a secret, one that she's successfully kept for years. It's meant that she's had to give up her dreams of going to university and travelling the world to stay in her little village, living with her mum and working in the local tea shop. But when she meets the gorgeous Billy, an actor with ambitions to make it to the top, and then they fall in love, Sophie is whisked away from the comfort of her life into Billy's glamorous but ruthless world. Their relationship throws Sophie right into the spotlight after years of shying away from attention. Can she handle the constant scrutiny that comes with being with Billy? And most of all, is she ready for her secret heartbreak to be discovered and shared with the nation? So, those are the four books in that genre. Are you interested in any of those? All of them? <laughs> no problem. Okay. So, that's Billy and Me. Eleanor Offland is completely fine. The Night Circus. And Wild Like Me. Along with The Girl on the Train. The One. And Harry Potter Film Wizardry. Okay. Excellent choices. So I'll just price these up quickly for you and then we'll take you over to the till. Alright. So we've got to 26.
Eight pounds and ninety five pence, seventy six pounds and ninety four pence. Okay, so that will be seventy six pounds and ninety four pence. I will. These books for you here, and let's follow me to the town. All right, great choices. Let's 